To even get to the top of the game is a very difficult task. And then you need to climb the mountain to stay at the top of your game. Making money with video games is definitely very possible, but the hard work is not really being talked about. Come on in. What's up? Hello, champion. What's up, Mr. Sagat? Come, let's have a round. The Intel World Open actually meant the biggest to me. Like, you know, we only heard about Olympics, you know, and uh, like big tournaments for sports. Nah, you need to know how to do combos, my friend. Being able to represent my country with my fellow mates is something that I would never dream would have even had a slight possibility of happen five years, ten years ago. This is the only one that's in my mind right now to win. <laughs> uh, let me give you some tips for Kamuga against Saga. So basically, you need to jump or jump air fireball. This will mix up your offense, and uh, it's really hard for Saga to anticipate your jump in. You know. Wow! Like come from that. Yep. That was good. Leslie is actually one of the best players in Singapore. We have been uh, known each other for 10 years and uh, seen Street Fighter four times in the arcade. You know, he has always been one of the best. I think I first met you in, I still remember the place, is uh, Amokyo Arcade. Yes. That's the first time I met you and yeah, uh, I think you are bow Yeah, You are still oh, bow Yeah, I'm yeah, actually yeah, yeah. serving NS during those times. Yeah. Your parents, the older generation, they, they drill this uh, mentality in the younger, in their kids that there's uh, no future in gaming and it's really hard back in the days. It really takes a lot of passion and dedication and hard work to become an eSports player. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tips. In the past, some people may think that gaming is a waste of time. But I think this perspective is changing. You can just relax yourself. So if you actually twist your wrist, it will go forward. And if you twist back, uh, the other side, it will go backwards. Okay. Nice. Ooh, there you go. You got it. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I still need to get used to it. The Infinity Glove is a fabric glove embedded with microfiber sensors that enables us to play games using our hand gestures. When we first started, we managed to produce the sensors for the patients so that we can track their joint movements when they do their exercises at home. Unfortunately, the global COVID-19 pandemic came and our lab has to be closed down for a few months. During this period, we were thinking how we can pivot the sensors for other applications. That is where we started to look into using the sensors as a gaming glove. Two in a row, up, bam. Actually, as a gamer, it's actually faster to shoot like this instead of pressing on the... Uh, that's really good. So that's how we want this to be, to be more intuitive. There you go, one more, bam. I'm, I'm so yes. used to this right now. <laughs> so how does my action replicate the controller? So what we have here is just one sensor on your index finger for shooting, but we can sensorize the whole hand so that you can have different functions on each of the fingers. So I can like customize the show you can by doing this. Yes, I can be a world champion again. <laughs> <laughs> Once the sensors can be embedded into any kind of fabric, this is where the magic yeah. can happen. Yeah. Great. This is really serious machine. <laughs> so with the data, you can see how much you press each button and the duration you spend to pressing each button and how fast you take to press the button. So this is actually really good for like training purposes to see what other stuff you have been doing wrong like just from the chart. No more excuses for missing the combo. <laughs> wow, this is actually really going to the next level.